How's it going YouTubers, Cormel here. Thank you for joining me for another video today. Uh, and today we've got one of my first building tunes for Forza Motorsport 6. Uh, it's been a little uh, little while coming, um, but I've been uh, quite busy with different things. Uh, and I'm trying to, to up my skills, um, so there's a few bits on this video um, that are going to be a little bit different, a little bit of way different of displaying some of the info and, and different things. Uh, so it's still the, the same build and tune videos, but I've just added a little bit extra here and there. Um, so I would appreciate it if you could pop any comments below just to let me know what you think uh, to the little added extras. There's nothing major, uh, just a few little sort of things which I thought would be which would be quite good just to show um, what different things I've got to offer and different things that might help with with other videos. Um, but this Ford Sierra is really nice to drive, it sounds pretty cool as well um, and it's just an overall really good lobby car um, so uh, without taking up any more of your time we'll get straight to it. So here we are at the build and as always we'll start at the far right and start conversions and engine swap uh, we've left that stock drivetrain swap and that's stock again so it should be rear wheel drive uh, aero and appearance uh, front bumper is the Forza aero the rear wing is the uh, Forza rear, rear wing as well it's a bit of a tongue twister that one uh, tyres uh, and rims, uh, the tyre compound we've gone for on this one is street. Uh, the front tyre width is the uh, the first upgrade you do which is uh, 25, 225. Sorry. The rear width is 245, uh, so a little uh, wider um, to get the uh, extra grip there. The, uh, the rim size, uh, so the rims that we've gone for, I think are sport rims, yes they are, uh, and they're, they're BBS RE's, uh, which go really well with the car. Uh, the rim size, we've just upped them one uh, to 16, uh, and that's on the front and the rear, so they're both 16 there. Uh, the drivetrain, uh, the clutch uh, is stock. Transmission uh, is race. Drive line, we've gone with the sport drive line. Differential, and we've got the race diff. Uh, into the uh, platform and handling, and on the brakes, uh, we've got race brakes, we've got race springs and dampeners, race front anti roll bars, race rear anti roll bars, and we've got the just the stock. Uh, chassis and reinforcement roll cage etc uh, so we've just left that as stock uh, and the weight reduction we've got the race weight reduction into the engine uh, the air filter is stock the fuel system is stock uh, the ignition is stock the exhaust is race camshafts are race again Valves with uh, the uh, block is stock. I forgot where I was then. Uh, the pistons are stock again. Uh, the turbo uh, that is stock. Intercooler stock as always. Should be the same for the intercool, uh, the oil and cooling, which it is. Uh, and then the flywheel there, we've got that as stock as well. Uh, so just quickly looking at the right hand side of the screen there should be a B600, speed should be 5.8, handling of 5.5, acceleration of 8.1 and braking of 5.5. Just quickly press up on the D-pad there and we've got the power of 292 horsepower. The torque is 240. The weight is 2,234 pounds and the front displacement is 51%. Uh, you've got your various stats there, but that will change with the tune. We'll just quickly move on to the tune there for you now. So here we are at the tune, 
Um, the stats on the left, the benchmarking, will quickly cover at the end because that will change once you've completed doing this tune. Uh, but this is the tune that I've got at the minute. Uh, so the front tire, uh, so the tire pressure is here. At the front, we've got 29.5 and 29 at the rear. Uh, the gearing. Um, I think this is fairly stock, um, but we'll just quickly rattle through it anyway. On the right-hand side there, we've got 3.90 for the final drive. First gear, we've got 2.89. Second gear, 1.99. Third gear, 1.49. Fourth gear, 1.16. Fifth gear is 0 0.94. And the sixth gear is 0 0.78. Alignment, we've got uh, on the camber at the front, We've got negative 2.4 and at the rear we've got negative 3.1. At uh, the tow front we've got 0 0.1 and at the rear we've got negative 0 0.1 and the caster angle we've got at 5.5. Anti roll bars at the front we've got 21.52 and at the rear we've got 16.01. Springs uh, at the front we've got 409.6. And at the rear, we've got 344.3. At uh, the ride height, at uh, the front, we've got at 4.8. And at the rear, we've got 4.6. Onto the dampening. Uh, the front, we've got 10.3. And the rear, we've got 9.6. And the bump stiffness at the front, we've got 4.2. And at the rear, we've got 3.6. Aero, uh, we've got that maxed out just to give us a uh, maximum downforce and things. You might want to tweak this a little bit, you should be able to cope with a little bit taking off. Uh, but for this build, I've done uh, the front at 100 and the rear at 195. The brake balance, uh, I've got 53% here and the brake uh, pressure is 110, but obviously you can tweak this. Um, this is why we do the open, uh, open tunes, um, just so you can see what it's like. And the acceleration, we've got 12% uh, acceleration. Uh, and the deceleration is 8.2. Uh, so if you just quickly look at the stats on the left, uh, you've got 0 to 60 in 4.682 seconds, 0 to 100 in 11.389 seconds, and a top speed of 153.7 miles per hour. Uh, the rest of it does slightly change depending on uh, how you set up the car in terms of brake pressure and whatnot. Um, but this is just a very quick uh, build and tune from me um, just to show you uh, just a nice solid B-class car. It might not win you every race, but it should be relatively competitive. I do like racing this in the in the lobbies when you get a decent lobby because um, it is quite a competitive. See something a little bit different out there. It's probably not a leaderboard car. Uh, just watch out for the rear. The rear can be a little bit twitchy, um, but that's just how I think the tune worked best. I got better times just by controlling uh, that back end kicking out a little bit uh, as opposed to um, making that a little bit tighter um, and then I found I was actually losing a little bit of time so it is a little bit squiffy in the back end but that's how I've tuned it um, so don't don't be uh, post my loads of comments say the back end's too loose because that's how I've tuned it you just got to control it a little bit with a bit of throttle control you should be able to power out of those corners um, with a lot of speed and like I said it's um, race car uh, for B-class lobbies. Um, so don't forget to check out Harry's uh, livery, which I think looks awesome. Uh, it's one of the best out there at the minute for this car. Um, and I really hope you enjoyed this. If there's any other cars you'd like me to check out in the future uh, in this game, uh, just drop me a comment below. I'll see what I can do. And until next time, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all those fantastic things. I shall see you on the next video.